And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for one final time in the Middle East Africa Track Mania Cup Masters Division Season 2. And uh, yeah, if you've joined us just now, you've missed plenty of action over the course of the last few days in group stage and the start of the playoffs here today. It's all boiled down to this. 14 players participating at the start of the weekend. Now they are down to four. Chemco, Ignite, Divided, and Supermax. Super Indeed, battling for the title of MEA Trackmania Cup winner in the Masters Division. And a slice of the pie, of course, of the $100 cash prize that is going to be distributed. But if we, uh, if the matches that we've seen before are anything to go by, this match is going to be extremely exciting. He's also considering that we're moving on to the classic points limit of 120 this time around. Yes, indeed. More rounds, more excitement, and more opportunities to for Chemco to do a 30 round uh, streak. And uh, maybe, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, either way, I'm looking forward to this one. I don't think it will be as cut, uh, dry, or as black and white as it makes it seem to be. This is now the grand final, you know. This is where you cannot afford to make mistakes whatsoever. The last thing you want is to start off really slow and then realize that you are 20 points behind on the first yeah. map. So this is where you really need to get into the groove right away. And this is now the best of the best. Div Dividends, Super Supermax, Ignite and Gemco. They are, they are here because they put in the grind, they put in the effort, and now hopefully one of them, well, will be rewarded being the champion of the region as well. A bit of glory, bragging rights as well. And of course, uh, as we alluded to as well, a bit of a, a bit of cash change as well. But uh, I feel like this is also something where imagine you get to be the guys like, ah, I beat, I beat Chipko in the grand final. Uh, here <laughs> we go. You get a bit of bragging rights as well. That That's something you cannot say a lot, uh, I think, in, in this region as well. So that would be a nice title to have alongside being a champion as well. Indeed, and uh, yeah, you said it's a grand final. You can't really afford to actually uh, be uh, a bit too conservative as you start off and uh, realize that you're already uh, quite a decent amount in the point standings behind your opponents. It's pretty much the gloves are off moment. You have to bring the best that you have to the table and try to make do with it and try to basically make your worth be seen by, uh, by 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 the public first but also seen by the other players saying like hey i can also contend with you in these rounds as we're getting started right here right now and we keep on rolling with the classics classic starter map right now so far today it's going to be guardians once again the map from yami which is going to be the theater of the first four or five rounds i think we're still on four rounds for today's cup mode matches actually we do have a bit of a pick for bad yes, phase there is a bit of a caveat this is something that was uh, done in btl as well uh it is that you are allowing the players to choose the order themselves so chemco is first seed Divided a second seed. So this is allows you to maybe, you know, play around with the order. This it's been random. Well, I say random, it's randomly been basically the same order every single uh, match. But this allows to throw in a bit of a wrench, you know. Uh, it allows you to maybe pick the order a bit. Maybe you want to have your map early on, or maybe you know, you want to test somebody on a map. Uh, Chemko goes for Guardians, a good warm-up map. Uh, Dividends goes for Gebab. He was having a good time there as well. But now it's up to Ignite. He has Solitaire and Lavender. And if my memory serves, you might... I mean, I would pick Solitaires, but maybe you want to leave it as a last pick as well. Because Lavender to Could leave be. on as maybe a potential decider for some finals with Bros. Because it is you... If you go by the points distribution... Oh, he... And there it is. Ignite goes to Solitaires and leaves Lavender in the last order. So this is the order of the maps we're getting as well. Um... So write it down. So well, you pretty don't much forget. all, pretty much almost, uh, pretty much almost a carbon copy with just uh, solitaire and lavender being swapped around because it was mm -hmm. usually lavender played before solitaire. Solitaire was always the uh, last map that we've seen so far today. But otherwise, the two starter maps pretty much a carbon copy of what we've seen the entirety of the playoff bracket. And we're going to be starting off right here, right now, with guardians from Yami, Supermax from South Africa, Ignite and Chemko from Turkey, and Dividers from Israel are going to be fighting for the title right here after this warm-up round. You can see, of course, the scores at the top of the screen once again, thanks to the beautiful overlay. And uh, yeah, at this point, there's nothing else to do than say GLHF and may the best driver win it all. Yep. There is not much to do here at this point. There is no second chances. There is nothing else to go. You are in the grand final. 
So this is where uh, we've said this before, where the men get separated by the boys, and whoever is going to win will have eternal bragging rights, will have the prestigious title of the champion. So the grand final on Guardians has started off now with uh, who's giving us a good start by anybody. Nobody has a bit of a a bit of a lapse of judgment to start off you know grand final uh, trembles maybe controller or keyboard in front of you is shaking a bit more than usual uh with the stakes in hand but everybody is looking to have a good start at the moment and looking to be absolutely inseparable literally less than three hundredths of a second separating every single car clearly nobody's here to uh have a joking a fun time this is now all gloves off jemko has taken a bit of a lead so he does have a good exit here probably he's gonna take it unless he's willing to push a bit more dividends mm. is gonna push it who's gonna go there it's mm. literally a photo finish between the rest of them it's four thousand twelve thousand separating the last three it's literally nothing in it whatsoever but it's still going to be a good round for everybody involved. Literally 0.6s and 7s, but you're still fourth after that round. Yeah, I mean, we've already said it beforehand. Unfortunately for Divided at the start of this round, he pulls the same thing that Bide already had uh, in the bit of a... Uh... Have a spot of bother at the start of the map on the previous match that we've seen, the lower bracket final, and Supermax is going to be the next one to be on the back foot very significantly. But the first round kind of set the tone pretty much immediately in terms of how the match was going to go. And uh, yeah, maybe there was going to be a few setbacks here and there for some of the players on a couple of rounds, but so far, Chemko and Ignite are not having any of that talk right now. They're skilled very much going at it full send. They just got to leg the step and send it, as one driver once said. And uh, yeah, Chemko currently managing to keep the lead away from Ignite's hands. But watch out for Ignite. We know that he can actually pull on some pretty decent snipes here on that finish on Guardians. But so far, no good. It is going to be Semko once again with another 0.5 being driven. I think this is the second, this is the like the maybe fifth or sixth time that we're diving below the 0.6s or maybe even more. But still, like imagine you're doing a 0.6 and yeah, you're not even winning. You're just second place. That's how... Intent, how much intent there is in each and every player to try and get that hands on that trophy right there. That is that is for sure as well. Of course, there's a reason why uh, Jemko picked this map last time around. He did a bit of a clean sweep on this map. Battle, so he's definitely favoring this map for a reason. But he, Supermax, maybe not so much as he has a bit of a early turn in and does hit the corner there. So does lose out on all of the positions, leaving the, the rest of the three up in front fighting for those positions as Ignite and Chemko again taking that early lead. But this time, Divided or Divided, which, uh, whichever way you want to uh, pronounce it, so I guess Divided would be the proper way to do it. Uh, but I like Divided. It sounds really cool. I'm pretty sure that's not the way to do it. But either way, Ooh, he's trying to push for the win here, but that is not going to be the entry you want there and allows for Chemko to take another first position again almost a carbon copy of the previous round time only three thousand slower but again these times are absolutely exceptional but again you feel like with a point six you settle for third and uh, not what you were expecting coming into this as well but then again you are up against chemco and ignite and you know they're gonna be fast so you just really cannot let go of the throttle at any point yeah, indeed. Carbon copy almost at the times for Chemko and also a carbon copy uh, pretty much of the round finishes because only half a tenth of a second between first and second place. So again, Ignite uh, being on the wrong side of the fence when it comes to actually leading, uh, trying to lead the race in battling versus Chemko. So far as right now in this uh, round from uh, Guardians, we see that Supermax is currently managing to be relevant in the fight for potentially second or even third place to get some points on the board. But right now, Chenko is just checking out up front, trying to build a very significant gap just before the final few corners of the map. And he's making it so brilliantly. About two-tenths of a second clear of Supermax and Divided. As Supermax goes really wide, he's going to get overtaken by both Ignite and Divided, who are going to be fighting tooth and nail to the line. Just six thousandths of a second separating these two with Chenko driving a .408. And thus, I'm imagining it's going to be a clean sweep once again on the exact same map as he did in the winner bracket final. Indeed, we have expired our time here. So already, four rounds, four wins, clean sweep as we move on to Kebab. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's basically he's so far undefeated on Guardians. <laughs> Two matches in a row. He has not dropped a single round on Guardians so far. So uh, at least, you know, 
he has already that going for him as well. So uh, there's a reason why he's enjoying that map. But now we're going to go into the pick that was done by Ignite. Uh, I believe... No, it was not Ignite. It was Dividet who picked Kebab, if my memory serves me right. Yeah, Divided. Yeah. Correct, but uh, I, hopefully I'm right. That's what no, I no, no, that was indeed divided. That was indeed divided since he was C2. Oh, yeah, Ignite so. went for the different pick uh, for going He went for, for Solitaire. Uh, Solitaire, indeed. So it's good, good I remember that one. But we are on Gebab, the notorious map with the most exquisite end uh, for every single... Uh, one of the most exquisite ends of any map. Uh, but we'll have to see how this thing will go. Will it continue with Chemko being up in front and leading all the way through the <laughs> through the grand final? Or will somebody else have something to say? As Dividets mm. gets a pixel clip on that corner, a bit unlucky there for him. Uh, he does concede all the places that he had. So it is Ignite trying to catch up to his fellow countrymate here. They are neck and neck going into the last section. It's basically, we're, we have left Guardians but only switch the map and we have the same situation. Who's willing to push this end? Oh, Chip goes so close to the wall and he's able to hold out until the very end with a 0.7, followed up with a 0.9 by Ignite. Dividends is third and Supermax is fourth. That is now five rounds in a row for Chemko, who has now a 22-point lead and only growing as well. Yeah, and the story from the... Uh... Winner bracket final is continuing to repeat itself for Chemko right now. Five out of five now for the man from Foot Esport as we're moving on to our next round here on Kebab. Moving on to the perspective of Supermax, having a little bit of a sluggish start compared to the rest of the field. So he will find himself a little bit further away than he would be. Completely detached like a free electron right now at the back end of the pack. About two tenths or three tenths down on the current leader, which is of course Chemko. Battling versus Ignite and actually Supermax trying to go on to the attack versus Dividers. But he completely bungs up the uh, chicane line and so he will be hitting the wall on the inside as a result of this. Leaving this as a three, well, I should say more of a two horse race or two and a quarter horse race maybe. As Dividers does keep some... Uh, con some visual contact on that battle, but it's fairly distant in terms of his particular reach for impact as Ignite and Chemko are just battling tooth and nail. Chemko edging him out for the lead, potentially to the line with a 0 0.718 in the books versus a 0 0.765 for Ignite. 765 grabbing the six points divided. Third place for him will be grabbing four points and Supermax down to fourth, not having a great time so far on this start. And just like on the winner bracket final, six rounds, six wins. Can he go one better than he did in the previous time, though? Yeah, well, now the prediction comes to the play. When will it actually end? Because Chemko is just, he's, he's been having a good day. Ignite, oh. not having a good time into that corner. So it is up to Supermax and Divide uh, to actually separate uh, Chemko's uh, literal hold of this match. He's the he's the guy, you know. There's the mean that he's not that guy. He's actually that guy. So he's holding a good grasp of the match and he's looking to do so for another round because Divided and Supermax are just not able to really keep up with him. Divided is giving a good try. It is uh, almost, well, it is a tenth, uh, uh, well, a bit of a less than a tenth. So it's definitely a possibility. But Chemko has had a really good drift every single time here, and it does not seem to change. It's going to be another victory for him as well, with a 0.8, followed by a 0.9 by Divided, Divided and Supermax in third, Ignite in fourth. Uh, Supermax maybe had a bit of a blunder there because he did finish a bit later than I expected, uh, but yeah. still in front of Ignite. So uh, 33 points. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a lead and a half at this point. That is just light years at this point in terms of the advantage that Chemko has over the rest of his opponents. And he can go for maybe two back-to-back -back maps that have been clean swept. Ignite having been forced to release. He saw him having to release mid-air in order to avoid basically clobbering the wall as he landed into the dirt. So the man from Molotov Gaming will be out of the running for the big, big points as we're currently following along with Divided in third place. A bit removed from uh, Chemko and the Supermax. Although Supermax himself was really slow compared to Chemko who just sprints ahead. And we have a bit of a clip on the inside of the plastic left-hander for Supermax. So that will promote Divided's up into second place, maybe Ignite up into third as well. Yes, indeed. In the meantime, Chenko has got a, just a boulevard of a lead. Almost half a second clear of Divided as we head to the finish line. Two back-to-back -back maps being clean swept by Chenko. 80 points straight out of eight rounds. 80 possible points to grab. He's got them all. He's already two-thirds of the way through to a finalist status as we're going to be moving on to the map pick from Ignite, which is going to be Solitaire. And uh, yeah, Ignite has got a tall order to actually catch up to that man. Or maybe he's just resigned to the fact that, yeah, there's no way that we can actually 
we catch him up. He's just smoking every single one of us. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said before, I, I feel like he has somewhere to go. I, I don't know. Does anybody know? Does he have an appointment somewhere? Maybe he needs to go to the doctors or something. Uh, somebody needs to do a checkup on him because he's absolutely insane yeah, today. <laughs> yeah, because he's just uh, two maps in a row, two clean sweeps. Can he go for a third one? I mean, surely w at one point somebody's able to do so. And I feel like this is the map where things can go wrong as well. We saw Chemko actually did have a bit of a struggle here uh, when he was trying to close out his finalist mode, I believe, on uh, Solitaire here. So Ignite was having a good time here as well. So maybe maybe this is the time where s these people can actually see the first position and for the first time 10 points in this match. But uh, it's always too early to say because currently it is uh, Chemko having a blast of a time, but everybody is in the mix. No early mistakes. Divide, Divide does not have a really good exit of the ice, but there it Whoa, is. Chemko. Chemko does not have a good time on this map, and that is the first time he actually makes a mistake. I know, absolutely insane. But now it gives everybody else a chance to actually start crawling back those points. And Ignite is the number one customer to get back within some sort of distance from Chemco and Ignite indeed gets first position, followed by Supermax, then divided. And Chemco, for the first time, finds himself in last position and only gets three points. That must that must be a mistake on his end. He's probably already asking admins to reset the round. Something's gone wrong. They didn't get <laughs> 10 points for that round. What is this? <laughs> what, is, what is that? You, what is that round you speak of? What are you talking about? Just a little bit of a uh, update on times. So yeah, 0.538 that was being driven. This is uh, two tenths away from the PB of Ignite, which is a 0.315, but that is no longer the current record. 45 minutes ago, Chemko drove a 0.212. So almost a tenth clear of that, which means that there's maybe a little bit more potential to go even lower than what we've seen with a 0.538 in the middle of the round. As we see dividers again, a little bit on the back foot just before the boss lay. This time, everybody makes it nice and smooth through there. It including Chemko, who had a bit of trouble with it in the previous round. Moving up into the lead just ahead of Supermax, and we see Ignite going for the inside line. So does Ignite, but so far it is still Chemko leading quite comfortably. And actually, Ignite hitting the wall, divided promoted up to second after getting rid of Supermax for the benefit of third place. And Chemko will take the round win with a point three eighty two already dipping into the point threes, which was almost pretty much forbidden territory in the space of the current day. But now that bear has been broken. Maybe we might be getting into the point twos. Who knows? 93 points for Chemko, who's... Uh, Back to business, basically. I mean, Chipko just gave everybody a, a sort of a taste of victory and then just proceeded to continue with his daily routine at the moment. Uh, so uh, looking really good. And uh, the only man that can stop this uh, guy is literally himself at this point. Uh, unless uh, Ignite can somehow burst into flames and rise like a phoenix, or Supermax can find a super round, or Divide it, can divide some points between everybody else. So plenty of name puns here, but there's only one man up in the lead, and it is Chemko once again. Divided is giving him a bit of a run for his money here, as Ignite is a bit further behind, but God does go for more speed. Can he actually hold on to that as well? That is a good entry still, but it's not going to be enough unless Chemko really sends it, and which he still does. He's going to be able to pick up another round and goes even faster than before with a 3-4-2 and uh, leaves everybody sort of uh, scratching their heads, thinking like, what can we possibly do? <laughs> what yeah, is there this, to do? The, uh, this is pretty much the equivalent of uh, of the party time qualifier mode for Mercedes cars, for Mercedes F1 cars back in like 2020 or like 2019 when they have extra extra power from the power unit. This is pretty much what it feels like for Chemko right now. After that little bit of a uh, little bit of a mishap during the first round, now he's basically like, oh, okay, we're just going to be unleashing a bit more power and that's pretty much what results with those high point threes, mid point threes. We might be heading into the low point threes at this point. Divided though has been uh, going on to uh, head on collision with the sign so he's been forced to respawn the Israeli driver is out of the running Supermax is the last of the leading group quote unquote he's being left behind slowly but surely by both Ignite and Chemko this time it's advantage to Ignite so far in this round let's see if Chemko is able to retaliate in the last corner he's got a bit more speed at the exit compared to the man from Molotov Gaming but he continues to resist nice and easy through that finishing section and it's going to be Ignite denying the 10 pointer to Chemko with a point five seventy eight this time around two tenths clear of Chemko Supermax finishes in third and Divided will be 
be reaching the finish line, albeit after a bit of a stoppage in P4. And that means we're going to be moving on to Lavender with Chemko easily into the triple digit realm with 109 points to his credit. And yeah, Lavender by uh, Linz, I think it is from uh, memory. Yeah, it is indeed the map from mm -hmm. Linz, which could be the site of the title being decided. Yep, uh, if, uh, well, Chemko, if he wins uh, two, well, he's, he has left himself at a bit of a annoying point score at nine. Even if he wins this round, he still needs one more round just to get the finalists. So no, not, you know, there's, it's not all sunshine and rainbows in Chemko's life, you know. There, they, not, even this not man struggles, work. you know. He, 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 no, he will not be on 119 work. if he wins this round. You know, this is a hard struggle for him. He won't be finalist this round. You gotta consider this man's feelings as well. But uh, the rest of the field also has to consider that uh, we would like to also get some of those first positions as well. But uh, will we see something else? We'll have to wait and see. As for now, uh, it's all up to basically everybody. It's pretty much everybody versus Jemko at this point. And Supermax is out of it. It does clip uh, beforehand and is out of it. So it is uh, divided and ignite to challenge Jemko for those points. Everybody gets the eyes really clean. Nothing to really separate here. This rift could be pretty good potential. You can get a nice exit speed going into the next session as everybody tries to go for a low jump as early as possible. Get that plastic turn nice and tight to set yourself up for that third section. Everybody getting a good roundabout here. Jemko is in the lead. Can he hold on to that well? Because this last third is still a bit detrimental. Who's willing to push it the most? And it is going to be still enough. Jemko doesn't push it to the limit, but pushes it enough to hold on to first position as Ignite comes in second. Divided is third. And Supermax is also going to finish in fourth. So 119 points. You know, it's, it's a hard knock life for Jemko. Has yeah. to do one more round. For finalists but uh, for the rest um it's basically start we have to start waiting at some point is basically I mean, the storyline i mean we got i gotta say point four like low point four as well this is nothing to scoff at in terms of like times that we were that we're seeing this is still really quick imagine you're doing a point five or a point six you just end up in second or third place you're not really in a position to contend as uh we're seeing right now that uh yeah it's going to be ignite uh, rising up to the challenge maybe trying to take advantage of the fact that chenko might not be pushing it that much for the rest of this round or maybe he just wants to finish it with style i don't know but this could be an opportunity for a 10 pointer for the man from a lot of gaming right there yeah, but oh. as soon as you say that, that is going down the toilet as quickly as he hit that wall as well. Now, this is a perfect opportunity for Chemko as well because he's going to deny a lot of points if he's going to get this first position as, I mean, Ignite would have loved to get those 10, but now the only thing that is going to happen, well, it would have been regardless of any round result, it is Chemko to go into finalist mode with a point five as well, divided his second, Supermax is third, and Ignite does come in a fourth position but now Chemko <laughs> has well last time he had four opportunities he still has the same opportunities actually yeah four opportunities to close it out until ignite goes into finalist mode ignite does have to win every round but it's basically the same thing as last time. So yeah, it's, can he it's, do it on his first try, though? <laughs> scenarios, re scenarios repeating themselves over and over again. It's basically Groundhog Day that we're uh, actually watching here on this uh, grand final of the uh, Middle East Africa Trackmania Cup Masters Division. And so far, Chenko a little bit in the back foot, currently sitting in P4, about a tenth to two tenths down on Ignite and Divide. It's battling tooth and nail for the lead as Supermax goes a little bit higher compared to the rest of the field on the ice slide. Chenko promoted up to third place with a good amount of speed at the exit of that ice slide. He's going to mount a challenge for the lead right now, getting ready of Ignite's second place and now battling tooth and nail versus Divided for the lead. He's got a much better line going into the dirt so that will mean he gets promoted up into the leading position of this round. Just a few corners left to go but Divided is not having any of that and Chemko will be crashing just as he exits the corner allowing Divided and Ignite to battle for first and second position respectively. Ignite a bit more speed at the exit keeping it all the way around the slingshot and thus a point six one five will net him 10 extra points. 92 points for Ignite, who's just sprinting clear ahead of the rest of the field for the battle for a potential second place. And maybe even if there are more mistakes from Chemko like we've seen here, maybe we could be having a double finalist, although there's still quite a ways to go. There's still 28 points to be caught up here. Yes, but it is something that uh, is going to come uh, relatively quickly as well. A uh, sudden realization for everybody, because this is going to be the last map of the rotation, meaning of course, that the next map is going to be the map that Chemko picked, Guardians. So Ignite really needs to get these points right away to deny any sort of opportunity 
to just get into finals position. But at the moment, Jemko is looking to mm. go for that final opportunity. Yes, he's thrown a few opportunities here and there, but it seems that now he's done and does it. Man is looking to become the MEA Trek Mania Cup champion. Only a few turns to go. Supermax is out of it. So it's now up to the task of Chempo. How much is he willing to push this? And if he touches the wall, he's out. But he keeps it clean. Ladies and gentlemen, G your NEA Trek Mania Cup Masters champion is Chempo with a very convincing result. And that is a GG and a half for him. There's just absolute domination. You could not ask for a better final for him, basically. And it is now Ignite, uh, who has the next, who has the torch basically to go into second position because now it's going to be a case for second and third position. Of course, we still need to decide yeah. those as well. Once again, great congrats to Stemko. He really emphatically led that uh, that challenge right from the outset. Eight straight round wins, mm -hmm. pretty much two back to back clean sweep maps. This is just like a staggering achievement to be able to do that even though there was a little bit of trials and tribulations in the first finalist uh, attempt there was still plenty of uh, time to be had before anybody could actually put him under threat and now is the battle for the runner-up spot 98 points for ignite who's gonna be primed and ready to try and actually validate that spot he's got a 26 point lead over divided it's currently sitting in third place in the rankings but now that the 10 pointers have uh, virtually been unlocked now for pretty much everybody it's going to be a very, very tough fight because, yeah, these three are going to be giving us a bit of a tussle pretty much on every single round as Supermax can actually contend with Divided and Ignite on a regular basis. It's just that he hasn't really had the opportunity to show that so far to actually challenge for big points as, yeah, there was a Scarecrow in the form of Chenko right now. In the case to the divided, who's going to be taking the early lead after the first two thirds of the map with uh, an eight hundredth of a second advantage over Ignite. Supermax will be falling to the back seat right now, two and a half tenths down. Ignite versus Divided. Can Ignite pull up the snipe of the sentry right now? We know he's capable of doing that, but he's a little bit too far off to make an attack on Divided. And it will be the Israeli driver winning with a 0.645 versus a 0.668 for Ignite. And thus, Divided will slowly but surely climb back up, whereas Ignite is already on the double digit run with 104. Yeah, it's uh, triple digits on the board for Ignite, uh, quicker than uh, probably expected as well, given what he had to deal with against uh, Chemko. But now, yes, literally, it's a good prophecy as well to say, like, uh, it's they uh, they went from hard mode, they unlocked the uh, first position as well. So now all gloves are off as well. But for now, Divided uh, has uh, He's dead. Literally just uh, said that, yeah, uh, there's no way I'm going to catch up as well. So uh, he really had a rough uh, checkpoint there to respawn from as well. So it is Ignite and Supermax for the ones fighting for that first position. Ignite does have a much better entry into this plastic section. Does concede a bit of speed, but usually Ignite's end is quite immaculate. Unless Supermax really sends this end, he's setting up for a bit of a wider line, gets more acceleration. But that is too much of a gap to get back and Ignite is not going to make a, a similar mistake before. He's going to go a very simple finish, just straight there, no hustle, nothing complicated and gets those 10 more points. And if he gets second position in the next round, he's also in finalist mode. Yeah, even though there is a bit of a slightly easier win, well, finalist condition for uh, for Ignite, there's still no time to relax. Ain't no rest for the wicked, as we say, because there's still, like, plenty of challenges that could be had by Divided to Supermax, and already we see that uh, maybe that little bit of a relaxing instinct might be starting to get to Ignite, as uh, unfortunately he clips the hole at the start of the dirt part, and thus will be relegated 7 tenths down compared to Supermax and Divided, who are going to be having a little bit of a biff, uh, biff about to the uh, lead of the race right now currently held the way of the South African driver just ahead of the Israeli driver by about a tenth of a second as we're heading into the third and final sector of the map with Supermax leading and continuing to try and build up a little bit of a gap to divide it as we're heading into the final corner and the final jump into the finish of the map and it's going to be Supermax comfortably leading his way into a tenth pointer which is very very valuable for him 0.752 in the back 86 thousandths ahead of divided and ignite will be finishing in third and it, unfortunately for him it's not the position where he needs to be he's sitting on 118 right now yeah he does need one extra round just to get the final response but it does allow for supermax and divided to you know snag a few more points just to get ever so closer to him to just make it a bit less comfortable for him 
to go into finalist mode. But then again, Ignite can also just uh, absolutely uh, uh, press B for boost and just get those 10 points himself and uh, allowing that gap to stay as far apart as humanly possible. Uh, but for now, no, nothing to really separate the two. Maybe a few different lines do put divided a, a, a sort of a tent behind. Let's try to attack that corner, but uh, not much success there. So it is Ignite and Supermax fighting for those 10 points. Supermax really going for that extra line, but doesn't set himself up for the best entry. But that was a good enough push for him, as Ignite also has to concede Ooh. in the end with an awkward line and allows Divider to overtake him. And it does give a more points away to the people trying to chase him down. It's not much but it's honest work at the end of the day as we move on to the next map. Oh. Moving back onto Kebab, then finalist status for Ignite. I mean, he just needed to finish the round, but still, that was a very, very awkward line set up there, as you said, for the uh, for the finish block. He just tried to go a little bit too hard, I think, trying to uh, maybe secure second place, just go a little bit faster than Divided, but so that in uh, doing so, he overdrove a tiny bit, thus allowing Divided to snipe him for second position, and thus the Israeli... Finding himself with a pretty nice bag of points, not far from the triple digit territory with 98 points to his account. Uh, Supermax also having made some uh, pretty solid progress as well on 86 points. But now this is pretty much where Ignite is facing off against his own destiny. Just one round to go here on Kebab. First pretty much clear run at it to actually get that second place for himself as we're getting underway with the round right here, right now. Watch out for that jump here on the dirt. We've seen a few people forced to uh, to lift to avoid hitting the wall, but this time it's going to be divided. It's barely brushing the wall with the right rear and thus slowing him down dramatically. It's down between Supermax and Ignite and it's all down to Supermax. The man running the Silver Arrow livery right there to actually keep it off of Ignite's uh, hands to actually get the win here. It's Kebab, so we know that the ending can spring a few surprises or two. We can have a few Dolphin Mementos here and there as we're heading to that finish right here, right now in the best part of about 5 to 10 seconds. Ignite currently leading by about a tenth of a second. Supermax going too wide, hitting the wall on the outside. Hoppa. And ladies and gentlemen, a hoppa for Ignite. Is it enough for him to keep the oh lead? Yes, it is. God. A tenth ahead of Divide that is the ultimate BM, I think, right there from Ignite, who thus becomes runner-up of the MEA Trackmania Cup Masters Division for this second season. And it's now the fight for the last spot on the podium. Divide is already into the double digit, into the triple digit, I'm sorry, with the 104 score. 90 points for Supermax, but we've seen that Divide is not immune from mistakes. So we can still have a bit of a tussle between South Africa and Israel at the moment for that last podium spot. Yeah, I mean, Ignite has to count some lucky stars for that one. To get away with that is uh, is is quite lucky indeed, quite fortunate as well. But now, as you said, there's only two men left on the server. And there's only one person who can be third position. Yes, they could share it. But where's the fun in that? They can have a 1v1 as well. You know, everybody wants to have, you know, you want to be on the podium, you know, you want to at least get a medal, you know, uh, as well. So this is basically to make sure you get there as well. As Supermax uh, goes a bit too hot there, gives Divided a bit of a slide. Whoa. Almost could have given it away, but with that touch that Supermax did early on, it is going to be good enough. But if, it, if they were going equal into it, that could have been some points given away, but Divided is now, well, one round away from going into finalist mode because no matter what result comes from this, he will be finalist because he will get six points. Yeah, indeed. Only the points for first and seconds left up for grabs as we're moving on to our third round here on the second rotation of Kebab with Divide. It's already on the back foot, though, so that is going to be a prime opportunity for Supermax to get the 10-pointer he needs to keep himself ever so slightly relevant in the fight for that third place right here. But there is not really any room for error left now for him as he needs to basically win back-to-back -back and continue denying Divide. It's not only point... Well, he's going to have the points anyway that he needs for that final status, but he needs to deny final status for about... Two Two or three rounds in a row, which is absolutely no small feat, and it's very, very hard to pull off, no matter your level of play in Trackmania. So, Supermax is going to have to be very, very careful. He's treading uncharted waters here as we're moving out of the said waters of the foot bath without any hopla moments. 51.928 easy 10 pointer for Supermax. The Viads will be reaching the finish line with three seconds to spare to go himself into finalist status. 
finalist versus 106. As I said, Supermax, he has to do three back-to-back -back wins. Two to deny finalist uh, status to uh, divide it and get himself into finalist. And one more versus the Israeli driver for the win overall. It's going to be a tough task as well. This is basically a mano y mano and there is nothing else to do. Basically one mistake and that's pretty much curtains for you. You cannot really rely on somebody else to snipe. It's only yourself to really blame now and to push the very end that's divided. He is looking to go for that third position here. He has already a good gap as well. The point two is not going to be quite enough because as we said, that ending, if you try to go a bit safe, it can be quite treacherous, but divided. He is having a very good section, keeping that two tenths for him as well. But can he do the end? If he gets a good drift here, he does so. And oh, Supermax, Supermax is, is in the out. wall. Unless Divided has a major mistake in the end, which he does not. He does secure himself that third position. Well done indeed. Also very well done to Supermax, trying to give his best to fight for that third position. But in the end, it is the man from Israel that does it as well. And as we've said before, that is it for the MEA Trekmania, MEA Trekmania Cup Masters Edition as well. It is Chemko who takes the title, followed by Ignite, followed by Divided, and then Supermax to end it off as well. I mean, that was a very good yep. way to end it. Yes, it was a one-man show in the end, but at some times you just gotta, you know, just to throw, put your gloves down and say, yeah, well done. I mean, absolutely deserved. Nothing much else to say about that. I think everybody can Clap. agree he did. Claps really all around. Well. Claps in the chat. Claps everywhere because, yeah, Chemko basically just put on a monster performance. And we've already seen it in the winner bracket final already that he was going to be a very, very tough cookie to crack. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, in the end, he did not crack at all. He is a tough one. And, uh, yeah, of course, congrats to Ignite and Divide from being on the podium, but also. Give a round of applause to Supermax as well, especially those of you from uh, who are watching from South Africa, maybe, who have been supporting him all the way through the weekend, because I feel like he's really onto something, and I feel like give it, a, give him a couple of uh, extra competitions, and he's going to be right up there among the cream of the crop of the region, although that cream of the crop is very, very high indeed. I feel like Supermax has got the chops to do it, so it's always really nice to have the MEA... TC Masters to actually reveal a few up-and-coming talent from the region because it goes to show, yes, Turkey might be the most dominant nation at the moment, but hey, there might be some other stuff cooking from other uh, countries in the same region, and uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds for the region myself. Yeah, I mean, if anything, you can uh, cue the music of Super Mux Mux uh, for <laughs> him as well, just to honor him and his efforts as well, but overall, like, a very good uh, uh, tournament all around as well. A lot of excitement, a lot of fun as well. We saw some ups and downs, uh, mm. miracle comebacks, uh, last minute snipes. Uh, but in the end, there can only be one winner. And Chemko does take that title. Uh, deserved, maybe somewhat expected, but uh, in the fashion deserved. he did, absolutely deserved. But uh, mm. unless you have something else today, I will, I'll give you the torch to also end our our time here as well as we've had a, a blast of a time casting all of this well yeah i've certainly had a blast casting that uh, casting the uh mea region i think it's the first time that i casted that region overall and it's uh it's been a blast uh being back in the booth after so long uh with you kiri i mean it's it's been a pleasure mm -hmm. i feel like we've uh, we've worked it off pretty well and uh it's been a pleasure coming back to the booth after a couple of days of hiatus and sorry for some of these slip-ups that i've had guys i i guess you can understand at this point i mean being uh, being a neurodivergent or autistic asperger syndrome does have a few of its caveats but i do tend to live with it i tend to live with it pretty well that's uh that's true of course the day is not over for me there's still uh the full speed masters uh, that i need to commentate but that's a topic for another time if you want to be interested it will be in a few hours over my channel but that's uh, the shameless plug completely over <laughs> i want to thank yeah i mean i'm probably gonna get slapped on the wrist by some of the people in the back scenes but i don't really care thank you very much for tuning in of course for, for the course of the weekend here on the mea track mania cup masters division it's been a blast we hope to see you again next time very soon much love be kind, stay safe, and until next time, Godspeed, people!